So the first tip with control button is very simple, and I think that many of you already know about it. Imagine that you have two intersect walls or lines or even beams, this work with a lot of objects. And as you can see there are some overhang parts here. To adjust it, just hold the control button and left click on parts that you don't want. This will delete those parts and adjust your wall or different object perfectly to each other. Also, it doesn't matter what tool is enabled now. For example you were spreading a columns and noticed that your wall corner have some overhang. You just hold the control button without changing the tool and after you're done, you can continue to spread the columns. Next tip has a little bit different algorithm. It can be used when you need to adjust your objects, but when those are not intersected, and you need to do it. So first of all you need to left click on the object that you want to adjust, after that you need to activate the tool, that a response to your object. For example here I have the wall, so I need to activate the wall tool. Hot key for it is W. And after you activate the tool, just hold the control button and left click on your target object. And that way you have ideal connection. But be accurate, because it depends on what part of a wall you will click. For example you have your wall with center reference line location. And if I will click on the inside or outside face of the wall, you can see that our wall are not intersect properly. So to do it right, I need to click on center of the wall in this example. The next tip follows the previous one, and basically has similar algorithm. But now I want to cut the wall or any object with the object that intersected. For example I want to cut this beam using this wall. For that I activate the beam, after that click on beam tool, and now by holding the control button I click on the wall in places where I want to cut the beam. The fourth tip is also pretty simple, but has some little secret that you might don't know about. So, you have an object that you want to copy. You just take it with left click, press the control button, a little plus symbol shows up and you have your copy. But this is just one copy. What if you need for example 10 of those? So what you need to do is just left click on the object, and instead of control button, you need to press control and alt button together. That way you will have two plus symbols, and now you can have as many copies as you want. For example you have random columns and one big dimension from one to last column. And you want to have all dimension between all columns. So what you need to do is just activate this dimension, and after that left click on columns that you want to add to this dimension. And if you want to delete some dimension point, you just need to click with control on it. Also one more little but very useful tip. When you miss some dimension, just make it inactive, and after that click just on point that you miss, and left click with control button to place that you want. The last tip for this video will be about easy way to switch between the stories. For that hold the control button and use up and down buttons to go to higher or lower stories. I hope that you found out some new information that you didn't know before. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way I will know that you are interested in such videos. Also check out my Instagram page where I post more interesting information. Thanks for watching.